With the latest from News 4 Jax, I'm Mary Bear. Tonight, a somber hero's welcome home in Virginia as an active duty U.S. Coast Guard member is returned to her hometown from Jacksonville. This comes the same day as a man was arrested in connection with the killing of Caroline Scollert. Police say she confronted 22-year-old Tyree Parker outside her home in Riverside as she called police to report her vehicle was being burglarized, and that's when police say Parker shot her. He's charged with second-degree murder. Sheriff Mike Williams has tested positive for COVID-19 and was said to be experiencing minor symptoms from the virus, according to a news release tonight from the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. In its statement, the Sheriff's Office noted that Williams received the full complement of the vaccine before he tested positive. A spokesperson said the sheriff is recovering at home. And a new COVID-19 testing site will open next week at the St. John's County Agriculture Center. The St. John's County, in partnership with Nomi Health, will be offering the free COVID-19 testing starting Monday, August 16th. The site at 3125 Agricultural Center Drive will be open seven days a week from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. No appointment is necessary, but look for the story on newsforjax.com for the link to pre-register. Always the latest news online at newsforjax.com. Thank <laughs> you.